I did have two questions. It was a historic day at the county council. For the first time, the council held its meeting virtually for thousands of county residents. Obviously, this is not the usual way that, that Montgomery County has been doing their, their uh, council meetings. Despite the COVID-19 outbreak, the council conducted regular business following Governor Hogan's rules of no more than 10 people at a gathering. Five council members were in the chambers and four participated in the meeting through Skype. And I appreciate county council session council from my house. Uh, so I have so two laptops here. One that actually has my Thank Skype you. and the other one that has all the information that I need so regarding what our agenda is. is so, uh, oh, Thank excuse me, much. I got a vote. We had uh, council members call in. They would text me that they wanted to speak. We figured out a new way to do business, and we're going to have to continue to do it until, until this crisis uh, passes. And much of the day's agenda focused on relief for those most affected by the virus and its consequences. The impact of the, the actions that we put into place uh, will be seen over the course of the next week. Council members also received a briefing from Dr. Travis Gales and Earl Stoddard, who talked about the outpouring of volunteerism across the county. Our community has shown tremendous spirit in, in making donations, volunteering time. We have a community organization's active in disasters, which are known as our COAD, that is a volunteer network of our nonprofits, nonprofits, businesses, you know, Boy Scouts, you know, everything you can think of to coordinate essentially a clearinghouse where uh, resources are offered or resources are requested and we can offer a clearinghouse process to get those in place. Four special appropriations to assist residents during the crisis were introduced at the council, including $260,000 to support MANA food and $20 million to help small local businesses and nonprofits. Uh, while we can't solve a, a global pandemic at the county level, and we all recognize that, uh, we need to do our part at the county level, and we need to step up to the challenge uh, that we recognize that you are facing. The council will vote on all four of the special appropriations March 31st. Reporting from Rockville, I'm Susan Kennedy.